Howdy folks and welcome to the trade recap for this quite execrable Tuesday, the 12th of January. Here's my thinkorswim account, you can see my trades in it, and this is going to totally kill my Covester, uh, my 60 odd percent loss in WTKN. I had a 17% gain in MDCE, but that is sort of outweighed by the fact that WTKN was a much larger percentage loss and my size was three times larger. There's a few lessons to be learned here. Um, first, I really don't like think or swim and it says profit or loss on the day. I want to see my actual realized profit or loss. Order canceled. Well, there's that. My realized profit was actually 6300 on this and about like 500 on, on this. So let's take a look at that. Okay, pump longs. So, just except for WTKN, oh, my loss was only 43%. I have a really great average on these pump longs. And that's been my only loss. Now, if I just kept the same position size on that as I have on my other ones, then I would have been okay. Unfortunately, I tripled my position and that just was not good. Actually, I quadrupled it. So, my weighted average profit margin is now negative 13%, but the average profit, so this is the profit margin I'd have if I'd had the same size on each trade, is 4.7%, which is still respectable, which is not bad considering how bad WTKN was. Now let's close that bring up the chart of WTKN. So this was going to be pumped up yesterday evening and uh, everybody front ran the uh, pumper but uh, then they decided not to pump it to screw everybody. And I, I should point out some people get very annoyed at this. Oh what a scammer. And I was like well duh. I mean stock pumpers are horrible, horrible people. And it's like going, trying to steal some money from your drug dealer and then being surprised when he rips out a, a 44 from his pocket and shoots you in the knee. You, you don't get surprised about this kind of thing. It's what you expect, it's sort of par for the course. So I originally bought around here and my other big error besides going in too large was not selling on this huge spike. I, I tried to get 50, 49 cents. I should have just hit the bid when it was at 45 cents and I don't know, taking half my profits at least. You can't ignore that kind of a profit or at least towards the close. Yeah, I expected it to gap up, but I should have taken some profits. Don't wait too long. Don't expect a really great thing. Don't let the hope of a great kill get in the way of a very, very, very nice profit and I reaped the reward for my stupidity today. So I'm going to keep trying that strategy and see where it takes me. It's taking me to bad places so far. Uh, BPAC, it actually, that's an after hours quote? Yeah, well not after hours, but it's a late print. Uh, it actually closed at 60 cents. BPAC was the beacon pump of the day. So gapped up. Normally these things fall a bit, but recently Beacon's been doing a little better. So it held strong throughout the day and closed near its highs. So I think there's a decent shot at a gap up and more pumping tomorrow. We'll see. But I went in with my standard position size on that. I'm going to click that just to make it go away. My good trade of the day, PEIX, all glory and honor to Tim Sykes. Well, all glory and honor to God, but for trading. Thank you, Tim Sykes. Uh, I didn't put too horribly much thought into this, but uh, I just followed Tim Sykes' second trade alert on this. Shorted here, held, and I did cover on my own though when it uh, resolutely went green after having gone red. Uh, Tim Sykes covered right around here on this candle. So still $1,900 profit held to make up for the horrible, horrible WTKN. ECOB went sideways nowhere it's sort of annoying me but otherwise the only thing I can say that's good about today is that I'm still up for the year and uh, for the month by about a thousand dollars but still horrible trading day thanks very much check me out next time reapertrades.com